SME Robotics is a project where we want to solve the problems that small and medium enterprises have today when they try to use automation systems to leverage their production. KUKA itself shows also two main demonstrators that has been also mainly developed at the KUKA corporate research. But nonetheless, we are involved in a lot of other demonstrators that show uh, different technologies that are useful for SMEs, like human robot cooperative system that can do screwing, like systems that can do welding in small lot sizes in a cost-effective way, like assembly stations that include already quality control so that the user has the real benefit not only from productivity, but also from the quality kind of view. In our case, it's the construction of uh, crippers out of bars. It's about one-of-a-kind production, which means even so we have basic similar processes and, and uh, parts, each final product will look totally different. The main issue here was that we take the all information from the CID data and uh, use uh, planning and motion planning and other methodologies to finally detect in which way the robot should move so that he can do all the processes automatically. When we are actually doing the riveting task, we have to deal a lot with a lot of uncertainties. We not know exactly where the hole is. We have plus minus seven mil millimeters of uh, tolerance because of the cutting of the bars in different places. It's done manually uh, and other influences. And still, given these uncertainties, we have to perform the process with this kind of high accuracy, which is a real challenge that we have dealt with uh, with high success. Additionally, together with DLR, we worked already on the next step. So our demonstrator shows how rivets are inserted into these bars. And the next step is, of course, to screw those bars together. We cooperated with KUKA very deeply, so we did the general framework and all the logic levels. And KUKA provided us, of course, with the robots and also with the motion planning, the collision-free motion planning for the robots. So we really can generate programs for different product variants without any worker has to do manual programming. He just shows or does his constructions in the CAD and we are generating assembly sequences and robot programs. It's very important to use the compliant modes of the LBR. We don't have to teach in very accurate positions, but we can use force conditions to stop the robot and to robustify the whole process even if some parts are not correctly placed. We even uh, did those evaluation of systems at the end user side so they can re could really see the benefit for them. And many of those projects have now uh, reached the status that they are really in a first step to be really uh, integrated in the, into those small companies. So it's not just a research project that had some demonstration out Automatica. We have uh, some uh, partners that really now take those solutions and put it into their production units. In the future, it will be more and more important also for the small and medium enterprises to use automation to be uh, competitive. Orange Intelligence.